So in a second, but what about Oscar? That's a great performance, isn't it? After uh, after a, a slow start, I think it's a steady start. I think it's fair to say. Uh, but to be on the front row of the grid's a great result. You mean steady start to to the weekend? To the weekend. Yeah. Well, yeah. This is a track at which you rather build up gradually because it can be uh, very costly if you make a small mistake. So I think uh, it's good from Oscar's side that uh, he put all the performance together where he counted. Very strong to be P2 at this track, uh, only beaten by Leclerc, who is a specialist. He's, he's done uh, a few pole positions at this circuit. It shows that the car is competitive in all conditions, and it shows the maturity and the speed of Oscar. So well done to him, indeed. And uh, the bitter element is that the other car is uh, at the back of the grid tomorrow. Um, we will try and do our best to get back in the points, minimize the impact. But obviously that was a very unfortunate uh, qualifying for Lando today. Uh, we were discussing now with the FIA as to why a yellow flag was displayed at that moment in time, uh, which was uh, extremely, extremely costly for our, uh, uh, in the economy of this weekend. Uh, we will uh, try and uh, recover tomorrow. Okay, so we've been looking, Karun's been looking, trying to find it. Can you explain, because obviously Ocon was on the track, but he was a slow car. A slow car means that there is a white flag. Where was the yellow shown, and was it misshown when maybe a white should have been shown? And, and did, did, was it Orlando that, that, that saw it, and he saw yellow? Did the team say there is a yellow flag? Uh, the team didn't say it because it was displayed last minute. And we check right now in our uh, tools, and it is actually displayed as a yellow. So we were in conversation with the FAA uh, as to why that happened, because the yellow flag isn't necessary when there's a car that, you know, it's, it's just a slow car. It's, it's not offline going slow. It's offline uh, going. So everyone tries their best, I'm sure. Uh, this time there was uh, a situation which uh, ideally, and I think by the regulation, shouldn't have happened. Uh, we pay the price. We don't give up. Like I say, everyone trying their best. We uh, acknowledge that. We move on, and we will do our best tomorrow to to go and get uh, some good points. Yeah, I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference had you gone out on new tyres on that last run. The, the flag would still have been there. Well, but it was the, the fact that the first run wasn't quick enough that put Lando in that position, I suppose. Well, d definitely today in Q1, it looked like the track had a lot of improvement. So uh, apart for a few drivers, the first run wasn't necessarily sufficient, unlike some other cases. Uh, the used tyres were good, like uh, uh, Oscar does a 43-0, and Lando was exactly at the same uh, kind of pace and uh, Oscar's time was good for a P3 at the end of uh, Q1. So uh, I think the used tyres were uh, good enough. We saw even in Q3 Oscar on a used tyre, he was uh, P3 uh, at that moment in, uh, in the final session of qualifying. So uh, just uh, I think Lando at the wrong time in the place in which there was a yellow flag displayed which ultimately wasn't uh, necessary. Thanks very much for clearing that up. See you tomorrow. Thank you.